Hello and welcome to the Learning Center. In this short video, we are going to discuss formulating a research question. Having a good research question is important because it will help guide your research. It will help you to create a clear argument. It will also help you to plan your paragraphs and ideas when you start to write an essay. And it will enable you to make a very clear research strategy when you start to use library databases. When you start thinking about choosing your question, you should consider writing a unique question that has not been discussed before or is different from your classmates. You also want to make sure the question is narrow or focused enough to be interesting, but also broad or wide enough to have enough research and information. You should also be interested in the topic because you will be spending weeks working on this. And if you're not interested, it will be difficult. Your interest will also flow through your writing style. If you're not interested, you will find it more difficult. The process of developing a research question looks something like this. First, you need to start with your discipline, and then you need to choose an area within your discipline that you're interested in or where there might be a controversy. When you've chosen this area, you need to narrow down the area of interest a little bit further and choose something that you can also find more than one opinion about, that there might be some discussion on or disagreement. So here is an example. Our discipline is information technology and an area of interest is the automation of cars. By narrowing further to ask the question, who is responsible in accidents of automated cars, we are choosing an area with multiple opinions, which will allow us to have some interesting discussion. So step by step, it looks something like this. Choose an interesting topic in your discipline and start by doing some background research in that area. Is there already any academic research? Have people talked a lot about this topic? Is there enough here? After you've done that, brainstorm some of these ideas and start writing possible questions. Some questions that revolve around how, why, when, who, and things like this. So here are some examples that uh, we might come up with after we've learnt, read the literature and started to think about these topics. You can start by formulating a number of these types of questions all around your one area of interest. After you've done that, choose one or two of the questions to really focus on and evaluate these questions. Then evaluate your possible research questions using the following questions. Is your research question clear to other people? Is your question narrow enough? Is your question too specific? And is your question complex enough? We ask these questions because we want to make sure there is enough information in the field for good research, but we don't want it to be a very simplistic answer like a yes or a no. The next step is to assign some limits to what you will cover. And these could be things like a geographical area, a culture, a time frame, a discipline or a population group. And they allow us to narrow the scope of our research so it's not too big. However, it's important to remember that a topic may be very difficult to find research about if it is too locally confined. For example, you may find research about a topic Australia-wide. You might not find anything located only in Townsville. It might be difficult as well if the research is too recent or broadly interdisciplinary or involving many disciplines. Start with your discipline. In the first example, we can see discipline is nursing. We have settled on a broad topic of women's health. We've narrowed it down to women in cancer. And then we focus the topic to women smokers and breast cancer. And then we've created a question that we want to research. Is there a connection between cigarette smoking and breast cancer risk? We will apply our four evaluation questions to this research question. And if we're happy with it, we will move forward. Another example that you can see on your screen is for the discipline of engineering, where the broad topic that the student has selected is artificial intelligence. They've narrowed it down to self-driving cars, and then they've focused the topic to ethics. 
of artificial intelligent making decisions and the research questions they've developed is who is responsible for choosing who is injured in a car accident something to note is that starting a research question with a verb such as is or do or are is not advised this is because these types of questions are yes no questions and you can answer them with a simple yes or no it is much better to use one of the wh questions or how in creating a research question in revision, a good research question will help to guide your research from the beginning of the process through to the end. It will help you to create a clear argument. It will help you to plan your ideas when you come to write your essay. And it will help you to make a clear search strategy.